Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for taking the time out to, you know, give yourself that time to embrace your your you know, your unknown side, to become one with yourself and you know learning more about the gifts that you have been that have been placed upon you that's what i meant to say but anyways with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my channel for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards positive direction also if you uh feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that's going through some you know some trying times right now and need that positive validation or confirmation please go ahead and share and give me a thumbs up and like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for sending so much love and support towards the channel as me as well and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video Today, um, let me turn this up because you can't really hear it. Um, it's just got these uh, these uh, tones to it. It's called Powerful, uh, Powerful 12,000 12, Hertz plus 10,000 Hertz. Full restore all seven chakras at once. Ultra base quantum uh, awakening. And I will post that link in the description box below. It has like the Buddha picture on it. And it's, let me see if I can show it to y'all on my phone. And you only can see like the head of it but you know it's sending out these psychedelic pictures and it's giving me like these chills and vibes going up and down my body so you know i'm hoping y'all receive that too because you know we need to align our chakras every, you know at least about three times a week if we can um but my video today is about twin flame 101 knowing your soulmate is coming uh will be in your life soon um, the signs that you need to know um, is a beautiful thing. You know, I've been doing a lot of research on it because I know I've been growing and learning and evolving and ascending. You know, and like I told you before, you know, if you've been with me for a while, I was in, you know, in a toxic relationship. And it's just like, you know, I send my, my uh, ex, you know, I give him many blessings, you know, and pray for him all the time because it's just like, you know, when you can go through a toxic situation, it can really put you in a bad place. It can have you, like, closed off and, like, F love. I don't think love is out there. I don't really think there's nobody out there for me. All women are the same. All men are the same. And it's a blessing when you can just feel like, you know what, things happen for a reason. We go through uh, bad relationships. We go through dark relationships so we can be able to learn from those situations, grow from those situations. Um being able to heal in places that we never thought because it was just like with me i used to always want to be in relationships because i didn't want to be alone i didn't you know i was lonely i had that father i had a father issue what do they call it daddy daddy issues um so i always try to look for that father figure in my life and you know because i didn't really have that growing up and it's just like it's a blessing when you can have a parent in your life like a father to show you what a man how is a man supposed to treat you what you expect from a relationship when you're dealing with a man how he is not supposed to treat you what you shouldn't allow in your life what you should allow in your life what do you bring to the table what not to bring to the table and it's just like a blessing i had to learn from all the relationships i'm in that i've been in and that's another thing when you're you're finding out your your soulmate is on their way to your life you'll be able to see the things that you are you know you're wanting in a relationship uh, you start seeing love all around you there's things like you, you want to get married or you want to have children and you know you want to be able to do certain things with your, your your mate whoever you decide to be with you'll start seeing everything around you the things that you want in that that you want to instill in a relationship you'll start seeing all those things around you you start hearing love songs all over the place it could be annoying at first you know if you're not in a relationship and you feel lonely or whatever but that gives you that chance to work on yourself that gives you that time to heal in places that you know that that you found fall for you know we can have insecurities if you've been cheated on 
you know, you, you don't want to bring, you know, old baggage to a new relationship because that can really mess it up. When you, if you see the signs there, you know, and like I tell people, you know, you should never say, oh, I wish I never met such and such. I never wish I never met such and such. Everybody you met is for a reason. You know, you can't get mad about a certain situation because that's what you wanted at that time. You know, but when you have been in a situation like that, whether it was something that it could have been, you could have been with a sociopath, you could have been with a narcissist, um, you could have been with somebody who physically beat you, you know, just, just did a whole bunch of, you know, really unspeakable things to you. But everything you have went through, you had learned. So you know what to look for in a relationship. If you start seeing some of the bad habits that's coming up from your old prior relationships, you can break camp right then and there. Like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know, I've been through this before. You know, I see, you know, I've been through this before, so I'm not going to allow myself to go through this again. I see some of the old patterns that are coming up. So that's the reason why you have went in, into a old relationship like that. That's the reason why you were in a dark relationship like that. Because it was supposed to teach you your strength. Show you what your weaknesses are being able to heal from that situation and you know hopefully your mate was able to heal from that too as well and if they didn't you send prayers out to that person you know they could have really did some very unspeakable things to you but you have to understand also they have also they they had to get that trait from somewhere either you know they had mommy issues or they had daddy issues you know they probably seen their parent you know if you've been with a guy that was a you know mentally and emotionally abusive his family one of the one of the family traits had to be like that too for him to get that way or they had abandonment issues so you know guys that guys that feel like there's love coming in too strong they do something stupid and go mess that up so they don't have to be you know in a situation like that before you never know what they go through so you have to pray for people like that and pray for them to you know heal from whatever is hurting them for them to go through something like that but when you know you're you're getting your soulmate you will try to better yourself work on your wellness work on you know your way of seeing things you know do things that will make you look better in your light not just for them but for yourself as well you know you me I, I exercise more you know I stop smoking and drinking um, I'm, I'm starting to you know just do exercise singing you know making videos doing everything that is positive that I want in my life that I want to instill in my next relationship being able to know, you know, when you when you see other people that come across to you, um, you'll know if things come out, you know, and it's not about me putting walls up because people are like, you know, I have family members tell me, Bronson, you need to put yourself out there. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not wanting to do that. Even tell my close friends, you know, they might be going through some things. I said, this is giving me my time to go ahead and work on my life, work on myself, because I, I mean, I don't need sex to complete me. I don't need a man to complete me. I complete myself. I make myself happy. You know, when you're, when you're ready and you feel like you're stable enough and you, you, you don't have any more healing to do you're ready to get out there then you can go ahead and put yourself out on the market but at that time you're going ahead when you know your soulmate is coming soon to your life you'll start feeling things you know what you want in a relationship you'll see that ideal person that you want for yourself so you'll start making yourself do things that you didn't normally do you'll get out of your comfort zone to be able to better yourself be able to you know, heal in places that you, you know, you fell short in or trying to mend your life from the last relationship you were in because it didn't work out so well. So, you know, those things are about to happen for you and your soulmates coming in because you're, you're working on yourself at that time. You know, I see, like I've said in the videos before, I've seen too many people get in relationships because they didn't like the fact of being lonely or being in a relationship or getting married just for the fact of being married. Things don't work out good like that because you're not coming into your relationship for the right reasons. You know, when you're coming out because you don't, you feel lonely, that means some people tend to put people on pedestals that were, you're trying to form in the pe people they're not. You know, so you're, you're getting in a relationship for the wrong reasons and then you wonder why your relationship didn't last long or you're, you know, you're seeing red flags and just not paying attention to the red flags and keep doing it. I fell far on doing stuff like that. So it's a blessing for me to be able to say, you know what, I'm okay. You know, I say I'm okay. You know, I can see people around me that do things that makes me want to stay single, makes me want to work on myself because I see things around me that are like, you know, ooh, you know, you're trying to fill voids in places where you need to be filling voids in yourself. You find it in other people because if you're trying to fill a void within yourself and you're looking for that happiness in other people and you're not finding it within yourself, you're never going to find it.
You're not. You have to find that within yourself. You have to seek love into yourself. When you can look at for happiness and love that you you're looking for in other people, you'll never find it. You have to be able to find those things within yourself. Being able to find that love within yourself. Being able to learn yourself in a whole new different light, all over again. So it's just a blessing to be able to do that and being able to, you know, find yourself, heal yourself, being able to know this is what I want in a relationship. I have this to bring to the table and hope they have that to bring to the table. So it's just like work on yourself, heal yourself in places that you need to heal from. Um, don't allow the things that you, you know, you went through with the, your last relationship, bring that into another relationship because it's just like you trying to sit up here and beat up somebody that had no fault in the things that you went through. So you don't want to take that on to your level. I mean, to your next level of being in a new relationship. You know, I used to have a bad habit of talking about my ex, but the current one, and they're like, oh God, they're not over this one. You know, so that's not really a healthy thing either. So you have to always make sure you have healed from your prior relationship. Don't jump into another relationship because the fact is you want to be no longer alone or you feel like, hmm, I'm ready to get married now. You have to be able to tell yourself and ask yourself, if you met you right now, if you were split into two, and you found another you out there, would you date yourself? Are you completely emotionally and mentally, physically healed from whatever you have been into with your your current, your last relationship? Are you fine from everything that's it, that you've been through? Are you ready to date yourself right now? You have to be able to ask yourself that question, you know, and then that will give you enough time, you know, because I've had one-on-ones when people ask me that. I was like, I don't want to be alone. I want to have this person. I'm like, okay, are you healed? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> you know, and I'm not trying to be mean, but it, it's just going to save you that heartache when you know, when you can find happiness in yourself. I always ask people when they're telling me they're alone, they're lonely. I'm like, okay, do you love yourself? And I'm not saying that to be insulting, but you have to really ask yourself because when you love yourself, you're not going to put up with just anything. You're not going to just accept anything just because the fact is you want to be in a relationship. Because if you know this person is not respecting you or holding your relationship into a, a strong bond and want to have a strong foundation, then you then is not going to work because if you know that they respect your relationship they respect you know they're not going to do something you're like hey let me ask my boyfriend or let me ask my girlfriend or let me ask my husband or let me ask my wife you know do they mind if this happens and it's not like you need approval but you don't want to seem like you're being secretive about anything either you respect your other half's um, opinion or you, you know you don't want to do anything to disrespect them and you're, you're wanting the same in return so when you know you love yourself <laughs> you you know you're going to be wanting you, you're not going to take anything for granted you're not going to be just letting anything slide you know you have to have respect from both ways you have to be 50 50 and being able to know these things so you know when you're wanting to know if you're true you, you know your soulmate is on their way to you in your life you'll start seeing bigger and better things you know when you know you're you're doing things to you know keep up your 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 hygiene or keep up your look or feeling good about yourself and you know you want to do things to make you in a better light than you were before because you probably went through a really bad relationship before you know that's when you know your soulmate is on its way you probably have dreams about you know your soulmate and all of that as well so I hope you are able to recognize all these big and beautiful things and good luck on your new relationship and I hope you find love that completes you in every way even though you are completed but have that extra completion in your life and I will talk to you on my next my next video drop me a line and let me know if you feel like your soulmate is on their way and you know like and subscribe hit that notification bell and drop me a line and it'll be greatly appreciated much love to anybody every every anybody stay blessed stay safe and responsible with everything you do and let me see who am i gonna give my next shout out to uh -oh. um give my next shout out to uh roxy um, let me see, Big Drone, Worst Nero, and Tracy, and Bear and Rainbow, and Shell Bell. Much love to you, peace, and know you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Much love, peace, be wild.